plan to do anything soon, or is this pretty much just going to be you running around the shithole? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just wondering. Sometimes it's just never. They're all random battles. I'm just not running into them. And even some of the ones I thought you were, like, optional fights you could go do, apparently aren't optional fights. I At least just... not this go-around. Yeah. I'm actually not running into fights nearly as much as I normally do. I mean, we're just looking at her ass, and that's not very entertaining, to be quite honest. I actually like her shirt. It's a nice shirt. Would be, if she wasn't a really, really boring character. I have a question. Okay. Do you know what a planaquin is? This thing. Palaquin? Planaquin. Palanaquin. Pa mm. Do you know what that is? I know what a palaquin is. I've never seen a planaquin. Yeah. I keep meaning... Oh, God. I keep meaning to Google it. You get attacked. Oh, man. Wasn't this just exciting? Except it's a, it's a little kid. Yeah. Tell him to go to his room. We were in his room, that's where we woke up. And tell him to get the fuck back in there. You can bring up a shit from a little kid bitch. I'm not. I use the term kid bitch because. I mean, I can't believe you're indulging in this little, uh. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like you shouldn't even... You just should be able to snap your fingers and go, No! Sit down. It's so tiny. Useless. Well, no. The, the kid's are psychopaths, actually. Oh, so well. she wouldn't listen to me. All right, she well, wants then... to hurt me. Well, I can see that. I don't know. Just like that image of a kid coming at you. Just hold your arm out. <laughs> <laughs> can be a psychopath all she wants till she tires herself out. <laughs> Oh, right, puzzle. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take a stone, leave a stone, choose a stone, move a stone down. I don't know why that was almost like a song. Wait, what the fuck? What's the goal here? The make... Move them amount of spaces that's written on them. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd think about it for a second. Rather than just moving the stones willy nilly. That was, uh, that was some puzzle. Oh, yes. There was many of them. Oh, God, really? Yeah. Place is a rundown shithole, but the door puzzles still work. That's lovely. <laughs> Not enough blood. Need more blood. Wait, what? It's some chick doing something to somebody. Oh, good times. Yeah. It's the ceremony room. Ugh, oh, not another one, really? <laughs> no, we're not going to go look at it because it's very similar to the one with the chicks in it. Oh, wait, let me take a wild guess. Gray, grainy, more gray? Yes. Right. No, oh, thank you. Um... I'm trying to remember what we're doing next. My guess is walking through a shithole of a house doing very little except for running into ghosts <laughs> randomly. I got it about right? I'm told to use the stone I got to go open the door in the great hall, but how do I get it? Oh, I remember now. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm just a Twitter with anticipation. I'm just trying to remember how to navigate the Quaking House. I'm just trying to remember what it feels like to not hate stuff like this. I get lost very easily. So there was... Another survivor. Oh, yes, right! The door opens now. Because he goes and kills the dude in the part of the night timeline we're in. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. You understand that? It, it does if you... Because um, they're constantly reliving their deaths over the course of the night. It's... I get that. I get that. It's just, if you haven't played the game, then saying, Oh, right, he goes and kills the dude with the face makes absolutely no sense <laughs> to me. They're all dead. They're all assholes, as far as I'm concerned. What? You ever run into any ghosts that are on your side? Yeah. One of the Shrine Maidens helps me. Um, one of the versions of the Big Bad will help me. And... One of the versions of the Big Bad? Yeah. Okay, there's the tattoo lady who chases you around and tries to kill you. Sure. But she wasn't always bad. Um, it's just circumstances and she 
became evil and psychotic. Um, right, someone started nailing hair to the wall. And... Please. So, um... So, uh... Like a part of the wall. That's it. You just didn't with these guys? I could. I'm not too sure if they'll chase me. Probably not, but some of them do chase. All the way through the heads? Uh, chunks of them. And I have to fight them too. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Then. They're very, very weak. Like the I can tell. They all wear the same dumb hat. They're called court hats. They're the hats that um Ben wears. They're the penis hats. Oh yes, penis hats. Right. Gotta love the penis hat. Seriously. Yeah, that's him. Oh, okay. That's the penis hats. That's awesome. They're called core hats. You might want to heal. Might, should, would, who knows. Oh, believe me, I don't give a shit if this girl survives or not. In fact, I'm kind of rooting for the ghosts here. In fact, they're just very annoying. Alright. No, not the clock. That means something's working here. In order to keep the rift. What do you say? Something about the boat? In order Who has to die? All these dudes. They already did. Yeah. So then what the hell's the problem? Because they stuck in the past. Right, then why are they attacking you? If they have to die, they're taking the cleaver to themselves. Well, they'll believe that they died because they have to see this big time. Whoops. I don't mean to sound ignorant, and, um... Soup. This is a really stupid fucking culture they have right here in this little town. Or house or whatever it is. This is ridiculous. There is no happy ending that's even remotely possible. No. They might have wanted to plan that better. Well, there was a ha actually, this is one of the only Fatal Flames that the canon ending is actually a true happy ending. What's the happy ending? More or less, you solve the problems of the house, you help all the souls move on, and you could go back to your life. And you save your friends. Yay. Hmm, it's not really a happy ending for me. It's kind of when they all wind up dead. <laughs> well, I am rooting for the ghosts here. But that's an, uh, me assuming what the canon ending is. I don't actually know what the canon ending is, because they've never confirmed. As far as I know. Because there's multiple endings. Well, let me guess. Something runs by you in the mirror? Uh, usually some, uh, something appears in the mirror and stands in front of you and goes booga booga booga, but... It'd be pretty funny if it's actually what it said. No, but... <laughs> like, the voice actor just wasn't getting paid enough. Booga booga booga. <laughs> Character goes, what are you fucking getting me? Well, that was a fun sequence of identical rooms. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Balls in the fucking... I'm trying to remember. Because trust me, I don't. Let's just get this one out of the way. Um. Oh, oh it's going to lock your ass. Nope. Yeah. That's... That one to the far right, up two. Up two? Yeah. Okay. Now what? That one down over two. I actually know if this is gonna work by the way, I'm just guessing. The one at the very top left, down over. Uh -huh. Down. This one here. Uh one, two, three. This one here, one, two. Dang it worked. That's right. So basically Fatal Frame has got shit on me. <laughs> You could just kick through that. Look at that door. You could just kick through it. It is pretty run down. If that's a maglite, you can just smash your way through it. Here you will stay until you rot. Well, actually, if there's any justice, you will. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, yeah, I do have a flash. I don't know, just make it shit up. 
Ah, there we go. I might have the first. Neither one told me that in these games random things happen on random playthroughs. Oh yeah. On the four seals. What now? Well, open the damn door. Yeah, it's a video. I'm just gonna heal it. Sure. Why well, have a stone meal or so. A stone meal will auto res me once if I die. Ugh. What do you mean up? I just kinda hope that you wouldn't get the chance to survive. Does the flashlight ever run out of batteries? Nope. It's a dream house. It's not real. Oh, it is. I actually don't completely understand <laughs> the idea. <laughs> I could make guesses about it and think about, like, the rules of this world. But. I don't feel like doing that right now because then I have to get into major spoilers. I mean, spoil it. I'm not going to play it, and you always put a warning at the front of these videos anyway. Not always. Warning! Spoilers! Oh, well done. Ooh. Wait till we're 41 <laughs> minutes in and be like, oh, by the way, there may be some fucking spoilers in this. No, no. Uh, well, more or less, the, the, the ritual that they usually do failed, so all heck broke loose, so they banished the world into the, the house, the manor, into a dream, so that the rift they opened wouldn't spread. Isn't that the same thing that happened in like the second or first one where the ritual failed and the town got fucked over? Yeah. So rituals just keep failing? Yep. So no one reads the goddamn manual? Apparently. Okay. So, um, they banished the house into a dream world to protect the rest of the world so that the, what happened can't spread. And then Freddy Krueger showed up from the boiler room! Sorry. I can't help um, it. I can't help it. I really so people, trying. people get drawn into the dream. Uh, people who, who, as I mentioned earlier, have people close to them die and they survive. If this was a dream world, there would be a lot more naked men and women around. That's all I'm saying. That's pretty much what most of the population dreams about. Anyway, I don't buy this just uh, popping so, up in the middle of nowhere. Um, I guess it's... I mean, it was a physical object banished into a kind of dream world, so it's physical there, but I don't know. You want to save? No, it, it doesn't must work. not be open. That priestess, the shrine, must You also be might want to turn the hell around. It's a big bloody dude with a butcher cleaver coming at you. He's actually not too hard to kill. Do you actually have to fight him now? No. Now I wake up. You might want to go to the doctor. <laughs> do you ever get to leave this apartment? No. Well, you do in a cutscene. Which is what we're about to experience? No. You only do it once. Most of the time you're in the house because she's a crabbing hermit. 